The year is 2013. I'm 14 years old and I'm running the 1500 meter race for my school sports day. I'm running as hard as I can while the lactic acid rushes into my thighs and into my legs and my lungs are absolutely burning. And I cross the finish line only to find out that I've come seventh place out of eight. After all of that pain, I had absolutely nothing to show for it. And so I said to myself, I hate running. But I decided to keep practicing running after school, day after day, trying to get better, trying to be better. But I just couldn't find any way to make it enjoyable. But then came the day, the school cross country, a two mile lap around my local village that the school was situated in. The furthest I've ever run in my entire life as a 15 year old. A similar experience to the 1500 meter. I feel the lactic acid in my lungs burning. But I cross the finish line and I'm in the top 10 finishers out of over 200 students. I suddenly had this mindset shift and it wasn't because I had some sort of accomplishment with the running. It was much bigger than that. And that's when I realized I've been thinking about running all wrong this whole time. And basically I'm going to share with you today my journey in running and how I've created a system to make me absolutely love running even on the hardest and coldest and wettest of days. So let's get into it. So throughout my childhood I was never really a sporty kid. I was more into music and playing piano and singing and acting. I was always told I'm not very athletic or I'm not very sporty just because I wasn't into ball games. In life and in society, there are people who will tell you, you're not a runner, you'll never be a good runner, so it's futile you trying. And honestly, those people are toxic, they're a drain on your energy, and what they're saying is not true. You absolutely can be a top runner. And honestly, there are so many professional and elite runners who are competing professionally well into their 40s. So please don't let other people be an excuse for you not to run. Running was a habit that I really wanted to develop in my life. I knew that if I wasn't going to go to the gym right now in my teenage years, that I should be doing something for my fitness and health, even being that young. I decided I'll go for it. I already knew how to run. I've done it before. So I thought, why not? It wasn't like, you know, someone told me I was amazing at running and that's why I did it. No, I was a very, very mediocre runner when I first started, but I just started and honestly, I never stopped. So what shifted my mindset? Well, first of all, the pain that you feel in running isn't necessarily a bad pain. Obviously, if you've got broken legs and you're running on them, that's a bad pain. But if you're running and you're just feeling tired or you feel that lactic acid in your legs or it's just difficult, well, that's a good kind of pain. And running the cross country as a 15 year old, I felt that pain in my body, but I knew it was a good pain. And that gave me a boost because I'm like, if this pain isn't debilitating me and stopping me from running the whole race, then I may as well keep going. And I got to the finish finish line, this pain that I had suddenly turned into like a wave of euphoria. I think that's one of the reasons you get the runner's high. And honestly, developing a mindset of enjoying that can actually turn running into a really enjoyable experience. A lot of my role models were all very athletic. You know, I am an actor now and I grew up wanting to be an actor and I would see a lot of my favorite actors on TV and film. They would all have very athletic builds. I wanted that athletic build. So that was another element that, you know, helped me shift my mindset. And the last thing that shifted my mindset is that I knew running was a gateway to me achieving my goals. I knew that if I could create a consistent running habit and actually stick to it, that that would ripple into every aspect of my life. And it honestly does. And that running habit doesn't have to be as extreme as every day or even every other day. It could literally be just once a week if you're trying to slowly ease yourself into it. To stick to something even once a week is a very honorable thing, honestly. If none of those things resonate with you, then hopefully the fact that running is a form of self-care really sinks into your mindset and gives you that little boost to get your running shoes on and get out there because you know that it's going to help you live longer and live a stronger and healthier life. So why do I still run today? The main reason is because I'm quite a minimalistic person because I believe that a bit of minimalism in your life can make things just a bit simpler and gives you more time to the things that are more important. And I think running is one of the most minimalistic forms 
dose of fitness there is. All you have to do is pop on some running trainers, a bit of sunscreen and get out there and hit the tarmac. And as long as you're out there running, there's not really a wrong way to do it. Gym workouts are a bit more complicated because you've got all these different forms of exercise, but running is one thing. You can either run a long way or a short way. You can either run fast or slow. It really is that simple. I think having that simplicity in your fitness really does help you to stick to it for a long time. And honestly, that's why I'm still running 11 years later as a 26 year old. Another reason is that setting running goals is super fun. I didn't really do any other races apart from the ones at school for the majority of my teenage years and adulthood so far. Boy, was I missing out because I'm 26 now and I've ran my first two marathons this year and they have been so much fun. They were hard, but having a community of runners around you and spectators on the day cheering you on and marshals who have volunteered their time to help you and organize the event and cheer you on. It's just an amazing feeling and signing up for races really gives you a proper focus. It gives you a goal. If you don't have a vision, you're just sort of walking around aimlessly and you don't really end up anywhere. But with running, you're more likely to become a stronger, fitter and healthier runner by setting some sort of race goal. It doesn't have to be a marathon. You could sign up to the 5K park run that happens on a Saturday. That's completely free. You don't have to spend money on it. If you don't wanna break the bank signing up to a marathon, I've actually created a video specifically on that topic on how to sign up to a marathon on a budget. I'll link that down below in the description if that's helpful. The next reason is it's an awesome way to get outside and it's an awesome way to see your local area. As long as the UV index is below four, then it's completely safe to get sun exposure outdoors and that's going to give you a big boost of vitamin C, which will make you feel great for the rest of the day. And it's a great way to see your local area. Even if you've lived in the same place your whole life, I promise you, you'll know it so much better for going out for a run. There'll be little nooks and crannies and alleys and stuff that you never knew were there. You'll probably bump into new faces that you can make friends with. You can grab a coffee from the local shop on the way back and support local businesses. It's just a really cool thing. But if you have your own private home gym, that's absolutely awesome. And you're clearly doing well for yourself, but you miss out on so much of life out there. So in my opinion, I think running outdoors wherever you live is a really good thing to do, as long as it's a safe and secure place to live, of course. And the last reason I still run today is because there is a massive supportive community of runners. Even if you prefer to run by yourself, which is what I'm doing right now, even though I hope to join a running club very soon here in Australia, it doesn't matter because online there is a huge community of runners. And I know running is trending right now. It's the new thing that everyone's doing. But even when the phase fades away, there will still be a massive community of runners who are dedicated to the craft and are there to support you, answer any questions. There's so many lovely people. And I think that's just a really great part of running. And trust me, as someone who genuinely hated running, all those years ago, you absolutely can switch that feeling about running to a feeling of love and enjoyment. It's not always going to be easy. It's not gonna feel like a walk in the park on a lovely sunny day. There will come times that challenge you, like on a cold winter's morning when you said to yourself the night before, I'm gonna get up for a run and now it's really cold and you're tired and you don't wanna get out of the warm covers. But in those moments, it's super important to try and stay as self-disciplined as possible and go out and run. Because I promise you, the more self-disciplined you are with running, the more you'll stick to it and the more enjoyable it will become. Now, you still have to have a sustainable and healthy mindset about this. Obviously, on some mornings, when you really, really don't want to run, it is okay to stay in and not run. That's absolutely fine. But what I'm saying is if you know you have the time, you have the fitness, you have the health to run, if you made a promise to yourself the night before and you're fit enough and healthy enough and you don't have anything else on that day, you probably should stick to it because if you break that promise to yourself, it can knock your self-confidence, at least that's what's happened to me in the past. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I can tell that you're a hardworking and committed person and that you're someone who wants to turn running into a lifelong habit or at least a long-term habit. So if that's the case, I'd highly recommend you go and watch this video here that I made, which will teach you all about how to become the most self-disciplined runner alive. These tips have absolutely saved me on some of the hardest days of my life. So yeah, I would really go and watch that. If you found this video valuable, then hit that subscribe button it really helps me out. And in the meantime, get out there, get running, and I'll see you out there. Take care.